Now the working pattern has been set up and assigned, let's take a look at how the employee record has been updated automatically. Starting with our salaried employee, let's open up the pay template tab. Remember, this is used for any long-term changes to pay, such as earnings and deductions. Any short-term changes can be added at the draft pay run stage. The earnings section has been completed for us. Data has been driven in from the Employment Information tab based on the working pattern we assigned. The Information tab shows a calculation breakdown. Here you can see how the hours and rate have been calculated. To double check how the working pattern influences the pay template, head back to the Salaries and Wages information by clicking View Regular Earnings. This calculation looks a lot different for an hourly rate employee, so we're going to switch records and have a look. Data is still being driven in based on the working pattern assigned, however, the formula has changed. The information tab shows us the breakdown of this calculation. As the employee is paid hourly, the calculation is simpler. The working pattern has pulled through the relevant hours, which will be populated automatically on the employee's payslip. The rate and amount will appear on the payslip as part of the calculation too. This is automated, which removes the risk of errors. The employee has now been assigned a working pattern template, which means their pay and leave will be calculated accurately moving forwards. They can now be included in a pay run.